as he chatted away in the Orioles' dugout some 90 minutes before the first pitch at Yankee Stadium on Friday night. Baltimore manager Buck Showalter let on a curious thought about the Yankees. Despite the roster increasingly stopped with hardly proven young players and a pitching rotation that was restrung this summer, the Yankees remained a daunting foe. Perhaps this was just lip service, but veteran skippers like Showalter have a skill for banalities, and he seems genuinely complimentary. They got a lot of good things going on right now, he said. If you had to pick teams you didn't want to play, it might be them. Showalter would learn how right he was soon enough. Like a battering ram, the Yankees overwhelmed the Orioles in a 14-4 victory. The second inning, especially, was an onslaught. They strung together six consecutive hits and had nine straight batters reach base. By the time the inning was done, the Yankees had scored six runs and knocked Yo Danny Gallardo out of the game after one and a third innings. In doing so, they also pulled themselves closer to a legitimate chance at the postseason. With the win, the Yankees are now three and a half games behind the Orioles for the second American League wild card spot and have won five of their last seven games. Who knew that all it would take for this late August resurgence was for the Yankees to shed their roster of aging stars and replace them with talented neophytes, the formula that has seemed anathema to the franchise for decades. And, of course, there was the continued brilliance of the 23-year-old catcher Garrett Sanchez. Sanchez continued his assault on opposing pitchers with three more hits, including a home run, and four runs driven in. He is now hitting .403 this season with 10 home runs and 20 RBI in just 20 games. He entered the game as the 10th most productive catcher in baseball, measured by wins above replacement, despite his paucity of playing time, and that number probably rose last night. In addition to Sanchez, Luis Sessa pitched six innings and allowed three runs to earn the win, after throwing six shutout innings in his previous start in Anaheim, and Aaron Judge doubled. It was all part of the drubbing of the Orioles. The Yankees piled up 18 hits, with each starter notching one and all except Judge and Ronald Torres getting at least two. Mark Tizero, the day closer to his retirement at the end of this season, homered, his first time since August 3rd. It was more than enough to block out two home runs by the Orioles' Manny Machado. Get the big sports news, highlights and analysis from Times journalists, with distinctive takes on games and some behind-the-scenes surprises, delivered to your inbox every week. I think they've had a big impact, manager Joe Girardi said. No one bigger than Sanchez, he's had offensively and defensively for us. The kids have pitched well, they've played well. Wherever we put them they've hit they've produced for us. He added, we felt they could come and help. We felt it was time for them to come and help. I think when you go into a season like this your hope is that the prospects that were close were going to mature and at some point help us during the course of the year. And they've helped in a big way. In less than a month on the team, Sanchez has become the Yankees' smart attraction. He has taken over the third spot in their lineup and grabbed a starring role. No hitter in the sport has had a higher on-base plus slugging percentage than Sanchez this month and only Ryan Dozier of Minnesota has hit more home runs. And though the Yankees have had sterling debuts before, Shane Spencer and Kevin Moss come to mind, Sanchez's had agree has made him less a flash in the pants than a sensation. We knew he was extremely talented and we felt that he had come a long way, Girardi said. I don't think any of us would have predicted a start like this but he's an exciting young player. You see he does a lot of things right fundamentally that should allow him to have success for a very long time. The victory, the Yankees must hope, was an auspicious beginning to a crucial stretch. With the postseason not yet out of sight, they will play 30 of their final 36 games against American League East opponents. That finish to their schedule began last night. If anything, their trade deadline sparked fire sale has turned the team into a reclamation project. While the departures of Andrew Miller and Errol Dees Chapman thinned the bullpen thinned, and the exit of Carlos Beltran stripped the offense of its best hitter, the release of Alex Rodriguez was far less damaging. It has allowed the Yankees to plug in rookies to take their place, giving the organization the chance to gauge their future and feel the jolt of youthful energy all at once. A lot of it is in front of us, Girardi said. We have an opportunity. We're going to have to play extremely well. We're going to have win series to get to where we want to get to.
The version of this article appears in print on August 27, 2016, on page D5 of the New York edition with the headline, Boys Again by Youth, Yankees See Their Fortunes Beginning to Rise.